If you haven't had some time to spend with Jesus today, you can join me for this short reading. And I just wanted to start by saying I am overwhelmed by the amount of love and support I've received since the last video that I posted and the hard time that I was having and being vulnerable is really scary. Um, but if, if we're never vulnerable, we'll never, we'll never know that we're not alone when we go through the things that we go through and to know that other people go through what you go through and to know that this Christian walk isn't easy, I think is so important. So I'm so grateful for everyone's love and support. I just want to start by saying that. Um, and then I wanted to read, um, what to do when you are waiting on God. This is a little bit how I'm feeling. Psalms 27, 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold fast to the confession of hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Psalms 135. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I do hope. Hebrews 3.14 For we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. And then um, Psalms 33.20 Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. I know for me, in times of distress and in times of disaster in life, it's so easy to feel like God is silent and that he's not there and that he's not working and it's so easy to be angry with him. But this is just your reminder and my reminder that we serve a faithful God and as hard as it is, sometimes we have to try to not let our feelings determine our faith and understand that our faith is solid in his word and in who he is and what he's already proven to us what he did for us on the cross and who he is. And I mean, everything around us that proves that God exists. Look around you, look at the sky, look at the trees, you know? So this is just your reminder to have hope and don't be discouraged when you struggle because everyone struggles.